वेलकम टू इट्स टुमारो न्यूज आई एम हेना तलाटी स्नो एंड आइस वार्निंग्स इन प्लेस एज कोल्डेस्ट नाइट ऑफ द ईयर बैक इन यूनाइटेड किंगडम इट वुड बेट द करंट लोएस्ट टेम्परेचर ऑफ माइनस टेन पॉइंट फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस रिकॉर्डेड एट द द्रमना ड्रॉचिट नियर द इनवरनेस इन द हाईलैंड इन द अर्ली आवर्स ऑफ नाइनटीन फेब्रुवरी द लोएस्ट टेम्परेचर ऑन ट्यूजडे आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी इन द शेल्टर स्कॉटिस ग्लैंड especially where there is a fresh snow cover it comes as a matter of fact and the uk's health security agency issued warnings for the snow and ice for the large parts of the england scotland wales and northern ireland this week arctic air is sweeping across due to the highly amplified jet stream mixed with the area of lower pressure over the mid north atlantic which is pushing air up to into the northern areas and back down towards the united kingdom a yellow warnings is in place for london the thames valley east anglia parts of the midlands and south wales from 9 pm on monday night until the 10 am on tuesday an identical one will be in place for the northern ireland at the same time Another yellow warning is in place for the much of the northern and eastern Scotland and North East England and is set to remain in place until 10 a.m. on Wednesday. South West England and South Wales will be covered by the another yellow warning for snow all day on Wednesday and a few centimeters of the snow could fall in those areas. North England North Wales most of the Scotland and Northern Ireland will also be covered by the yellow warning for the snow between 3 am on Thursday and 6 pm on Friday Met of his spokesman said temperatures would be much much colder than we would expect at this time of the year The Met of his warned travel disruption is likely and journey times by the car train and bus may take a longer than usual Some rural areas could also become cut off from the national power grid. UK HSA has issued a level 3 cold weather alert for the whole of the England which is likely to be reviewed in the coming days. The agency's head of the extreme events and health protection said people should check on the vulnerable relatives and told pensioners and anyone with the underlying health condition to hit their homes to at least 18 degrees celsius that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news for more global weather updates like this subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates